Welcome back to the Ninth Gym Program, and today we're continuing the guide series with Suicune, one of the three legendary dogs, the Water Doggo. Uh, it's a pretty good Pokemon, honestly, you know, it, it has pretty good stats across the board, especially defensively. Not doing too much offensively, but you could EV it and, you know, make like a Calm Mind spread that could do a lot of damage eventually. Um, but that's not really what we're focusing on. We're really focusing on a supportive, defensive Pokemon, uh, utilizing things like Snarl and Icy Wind to, you know, lower our opponent's stats while using things like Tailwind to double our own speed for a couple turns and really just support the team. Uh, that's kind of what Suicune does, and that's also where its shortcomings are because if it can't do enough, then your opponent will kind of just target down the Pokemon next to it and just kill it. Um, every turn and Suicune if if Suicune can't you know protect it from dying with snarl or control the speed allowing its partner to do most of the work um, then it it fails so kind of like what you want to do with Suicune is just very very decisively control the board positioning is very very big for this Pokemon and for a team that utilizes this Pokemon um, so definitely a couple you know Rules of thumb there, general rules of thumb for Suicune. Anyway, uh, why is this Pokemon in particular good? Well, it's, we already talked about its supportive move pool that's really good. It, it does have a good ability that prevents it from flinching, which is really, really good. It also, um, now Inner Focus has been buffed to make it so it can't be intimidated, but intimidate doesn't really matter against Suicune because we never are going to use physical attacks. Um, but it's still, you know, relevant to say that. But the fact that it can't be uh, fake-outed in a non-Dynamax format is actually huge. And uh, I realize that this won't always be in a 9 Dynamax format, but for now, um, we are currently in one, and it's is it's some good stuff. You know, Suicune went from, like, 1% usage on Picolytics, probably less, to about 5%, which is a massive, massive increase of usage stats. So, um, it de it's definitely, you know, goes to show that it's, it's a viable Pokemon. Um, anyway... Uh, let's talk about it. So let's uh, look at its stats and, and typing and stuff. So obviously, you know, water typing is all right. It's it's not like crazy, but in a format with Pokemon like Rillaboom and Regilecki absolutely everywhere, it's kind of unfortunate. We can EV it in most instances to live uh, just about everything, but, um, you know, Life Orb, Modest Regilecki can still do a lot of damage, probably Knockout. So you definitely just you st still have to be careful with this Pokemon for sure. Um, but that requires like a dedicated Thunderbolt to it. Um, instead of like, you know, knocking it out with uh, Electro Web or something like that. Anyway, um, we can also live uh, Rillaboom, uh, Grassy Glide. So, yeah, we'll talk about that more in the damage calcs and like for the build. But for now, let's look at these stats before we move on to the actual build itself. So, uh, of course, we have uh, HP stats at 100, which is really good in defense and special defense, both at 115. So, just defensively, this Pokemon has these stats to uh, live a lot of attacks, like even super effective attacks, which is good. And the fact that it doesn't have any four times weaknesses is also really good for this Pokemon because, like, yeah, if it did, it, it would just suck. But it's mono water, so we don't have to worry about that, uh, which, which, is, which is good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, stats are pretty good across the board. Attack at 75 is trash, but, like, who cares? And then special attack at 90 is pretty low. Like, we're not doing a lot of damage. You can, like I said, you can invest. And also, you could use, like, a Calm Mindset, but... We don't really want to do that much damage with Suicune. Like, I don't really care that much to do damage. As long as it's controlling the board with things like Snarl and Icy Wind and Tailwind, then we're absolutely fine. Also, like, the fact that it has Scald as a really strong stab move is kind of scary because, like, physical attackers just don't really want to switch into it, uh, into a Scald. So, like, Suicune, honestly, it pressures the opponent, like, um, without indirectly, or, like, without directly pressuring, it puts a lot of pressure on the board onto your opponent to make them, you know, do some, uh, fast decisions to either deal with this Pokemon immediately or um, deal with everything else and let this Pokemon go, but then Snarls can be really big. So, you know, like, this Pokemon is really good against special attackers and just bulky in general, but, yeah, that's that's a shortcoming that's pretty apparent. Anyway, that's it for the overview. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual guide that I have prepared, um, the build that I have prepared. So it's, you know, like a very supportive um, defensive Pokemon. So that's what we leaned into entirely. Uh, the speed and special attack I didn't go that hard into, but we'll talk about the spread a little more here in depth in one moment. Let's talk about this stuff up top. So uh, first off, the item we went for, Citrus Berry, and the ability Inner Focus. We're not going to be switching Inner Focus, but the item you can definitely change. It's very customizable. This is a very customizable Pokemon in general. So as far as the item goes... I went for a Citrus Berry. I just think it works really well. A lot of the calcs brought it down to that Citrus Berry 
um, range. So you can then, you know, get back 25% immediately, which is really, really good. But you do have other options. You have pinch berries like Wiki and Aguave and stuff um, that are really good. Uh, those are actually really solid for this Pokemon because a lot of um, really, really big damaging attacks will knock you right down to it, as well as just like there's a lot of things that competently three shot this Pokemon, which a pinch berry would just be very, very good. So, pinch berry is definitely good as well. Rindo and Wakan can be really good if you're like looking for specific spreads, but I didn't want to go for those. And then also, leftovers is a good option. Um, you also do have, like, maybe if you wanted to go for, like, a Calm mindset, you could even, like, try, like, an Offensive Life Orb set. I wouldn't go for that, but I think, you know, that's... If you wanted to try it, it's, like, a naturally bulky Pokemon. If you're looking for a Water type that can do some damage, like, Calm Mind, like, Icy Wind could be pretty good and annoying. Um, but I'm not going for those. Uh, we're going for a very bulky Pokemon today. Uh, as far as the moves go, I went for Scald, Icy Wind, Snarl, and Tailwind. This is, once again, pretty customizable. It has a couple of good options. Things like Ice Beam, if you're going for, like, more damage. Uh, if you're worried about, you know, water types in uh, Pokemon like that. Or not water types, uh, grass types for the Icy be Ice Beam. Ice Beam definitely does a lot of damage. And in a format with Lando, also, Lando T and regular Lando are both very prevalent in the meta. It's definitely not bad to have Ice, Ice Beam. But Icy Wind really, really, like, does a lot of work against all those Pokemon. And I just didn't really need it, but Ice Beam is a good option. Protect, Helping Hand, Roar are all good options as well. Um, you know, Protect is very good on... It's, it's VGC. Protect is very good. Uh, especially if you go for, like, a leftover set, I'd probably recommend going for Protect on the on the set. But for me personally, I, I just went for these. I thought it was really good. Like I was saying before, Scald is a really, really annoying move to, like, play around. Because you don't really want to switch in on, um, you know, switch in a physical attacker if you think you're going to get Scalded. Because, you know, if you hit that 30% burn... The game's kind of over, like, a lot of the time. Not game, the not, the not the game is over, but that Pokemon is just about done, right? Like, that Pokemon, what are you, what are you doing now? You're not doing a lot. Uh, you know, if, like, a physical attacker is burned, it, have, it, it effectively just halves its attack. Like, that's really, really bad. So you don't want to switch in, you know, Rillaboom, uh, even Incineroar, Zashi, and none of those Pokemon, you don't want it to get burned. So it, it makes it pretty annoying. So Scald is really good. It's also just our best, like, stab move that does a lot of damage that also, like, applies pressure. Um, which is good. Icy Wind and Snarl and Tailwind. It's very important to to control speed tiers. And when you're using one of these Pokemon being Suicune, you're not really pressuring your opponent directly. You're kind of just like annoying them with Icy Wind to Scald and like, you know, Scald making them, uh, you know, have to play weirdly around it. But when you control the board speed control wise with Icy Wind and Tailwind, uh, the Pokemon just becomes much, much more usable. And then you have, like, fast Snarls coming out and stopping things from, uh, you know, doing much damage to your partner Pokemon. And that's kind of what you want to do. Because Suicune is not going to be, like, uh, the ringleader. It's kind of like the, the like, the puppeteer in the back, you know? Like, kind of controlling when things happen with speed control and Snarl. Um, so that's kind of what you want to do with Suicune. So you want to make sure your Pokemon to the next of, uh, to the side of it is, like, actually doing something. Um, and Tailwind makes that happen, right? Of course, it makes it happen. Um, anyway, let's look at this EV, EV spread. I, I made it... It's kind of weird, but we do have damage calcs later on in the video, so, uh, you know, we'll, I'll explain these calcs a little bit more specifically then because we do have specific uh, calcs that they're for. Anyway, um, I wanted to be really bulky, so I just went 252 in HP, straight up, like just no, just right into it. And then I wanted to give it 52 speed. That was the next one on the, on the list to get it to one uh, to 224, which is really imperative in this format because we have things like Zacian and Calyrex, uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex, and uh, Faramosa. That's like, well, that's like the old days, not really even old days, but that was like the, the calc to beat was 223. So getting to 224 under Tailwind is really, really good. But also outspeeding the two insane restricted Pokemon in the format it's a win-win. So getting this to the 52 speed is really good. You can even go a little bit more if you wanted to, but I didn't see it needed. Um, so I just wanted to put that more into bulk, like that extra, you know, 16 um, EVs that I could have put in because that's what like Picolytics was saying didn't, or like recommending like, yeah. So we just differentiated from that a little, but that was what the speed was for. And then I added enough special defense to live a Regilecki. We couldn't EV out of a Life Orb modest, so we just went without Life Orb because about 50% of Regileckis are using Focus Sash. So I'm just taking that chance. And uh, poured four into special attack so we didn't waste, and then the rest into defense. So that's kind of like what it, this is. This does live um, Miracle Seed, Adamant Max Attack, um, Rillaboom, Grassy Glide, which is really, really big calc to have as well. So um, just across the board... 
good calc uh, good spread in my opinion you do uh, of course have a couple things you have to avoid but we'll talk about that here more in a few moments when we get to damage calcs um but first the speed tiers but that's after one moment i, I want to talk about these synergetic pokemon real quick but it's going to be real quick um first off we have here incineroar and rillaboom this is if you want to use suicune the most basic firewater grass core that's like a defensive backbone and, and just good stuff in the back and uh you know so like you have a really good rillaboom incineroar engine that uh, like nearly 30 percent to 50 percent of teams are using on ladder right now is using those two pokemon in the back uh double fake outs insane you have intimidate you also have a very bulky naturally bulky pokemon on both of them with intimidate and double fake out and grassy glide to deal with things like kyogre and it's, it's just a really really strong core in the back and if you wanted to add a water type which a lot of players do because firewater grass cores are like incredibly good just gener generically uh suicune is a great add to that and then if you're just looking for something else because obviously you need like some kind of offensive pressure or like you know something that the team actually does uh zacian slap it right on there it's a sword dog what do you want slap it right on there you're gonna have a good time I'd probably get a flying type on the team too so you have a good uh ground immunity because that would destroy the team but uh yeah it would it would be pretty good so i, I would definitely go with that that core four the triad down in the bottom right corner with the suicune that would probably be my first if i wanted to use suicune right now that's the team that i would make like that's the starting team that i would make uh you could also try like a shadow calyrex like offensive kind of thing but uh suicune isn't like super offensive so uh if you use other pokemon that are offensive you have to be like you have to play superior to your opponent and that's really all it comes down to like that's hi hyper offense if you um, make like bad plays and like switch in um, incredibly poorly then you're just gonna get so punished so yeah you want to like yeah this is, it's, it's weird on that team anyway i'm like going off of crazy tangents let's get into the speed tiers um as far as speed tiers go like i said i wanted to get to 224 so that we outsped the pheromos so the caloric shadow and the zashian crowned so that's what we got to we got to 112 and then tailwind activates and we go to 224 and boom you're outspeeding now you're good you're getting your snarls off on your calyrex shadow rider before they attack it's it's starting to get pretty good for you so that's what you want to do um it, it's it's pretty good but if we don't we are still outspeeding a couple of good pokemon obviously we can on the same speed tier as these pokemon so if they don't have speed tier we're outspeeding things like ndf real boom toxic croak um the the dumb guys sell steel a tyrant star there at the bottom there's a bunch more guys in that you know 50 to 105 range um actually there's not that many fair enough but uh they are there they do exist but yeah squeak is not that fast without tailwind but once we get that tailwind going we're very fast outspeeding all those pokemon that i said before things like dragapult the 150 to 200 range which is really really popular things like nile a bunch of restricteds garchomp kartana um all these really good pokemon in that range and then the is outspeeding it but of course we can does get outsped by a couple scarf pokemon even after tailwind uh things like arshifu you have regilecki as well like all of the weather things the venusaur there there are pokemon that exist that are outspeeding it but few and far between um anyway next is damage calcs and i'm gonna try and speed through this because we're already 13 minutes into the video so i'm just gonna be kind of fast anyway um the first four are gonna be defensive the last two are gonna be offensive we don't have a lot of offensive pressure as uh using suicune so i didn't want to like put in, in too many calcs or anything so here we go here we go 252 special attacks uh tr transistor reggie lecky thunderbolt max damage into our 252 hp 84 special defense suicune hitting 84 to 99.5 that is almost enough but they're not really going to fake out our suicune i guess they can if they have this calc memorized but they prob probably won't i don't think they'll fake out and go for this because yeah it it's too like maybe it will maybe it won't so i don't think it'll happen much but uh, the fact that we can EV out of Thunderbolt Regilek is really, really good. Although, like I said, if it's Life Orb or Magnet, we die. So be careful of those. But if you can call the read on its Focus Sash, then great. And, or games two and three after you see the Focus Sash Regilek, you know you're safe, um, which is good. Anyway, next we have 252 plus attack uh, Miracle Seed Rillaboom Grassy Glide. So this doesn't cover Choice, uh, choice, choice Band, but Choice Band Rillaboom, uh, it's not frequent anymore. So... Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty safe not having that calc. Anyway, um, if it's Miracle Seed, it is still doing 70 to 85%, even in its terrain, which is doing a lot of damage. But we are still living with a pretty, like, safe amount. And like I said, you know, we're not getting fake outed too much, except for, like, pure damage at this point. Um, which, it's fine. You know, if you dedicate your, your double attack to that right off the bat, 
it's probably okay, right? Like, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, next we have uh, plus one, 252 attack, Zashian Crown Behemoth Blade into our uh, Zash or into our def Suicune, if I could talk. Into the Suicune, hitting 27.5 to 32.3% damage, which is a guaranteed 4 KO. I just put this down to show you this is a safe switch in. Um, same, with, same with if they use Sacred Sword, obviously this is going to do more damage, but it's not going to do like, it's not going to kill you unless they're Sword Stance. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. Like this is definitely a solid um, switch in for Zashian and like, you can you can really like run away with a Zashin game with Suicune because it just like walls it so well. It does a pretty good job at that. Uh, it doesn't do much damage, but if you're gonna hit a Scald Burn, like yikes, dude! What what is the Zashin ever gonna do? Honestly, what is it ever gonna do? Anyway, uh, Serena Power Whip into our Suicune, hitting seventy five point three to eighty nine. This was collateral damage. I didn't even notice this cow can tell. I was thinking about it after, um, but it's pretty good to live that. I mean, they're usually using Assault Vest or like Wide Lens, so. This will probably be a safe calc most of the time, which is good. Anyway, next we have two offensive calcs. We have the first one is going to be Suicune Scald into an Incineroar. Um, the most basic 236-236 plus spread for Incineroar. 33 to 40%, which is a competent 3 hit KO, um, which is really good. But, of course, you know, most Incineroars have berries um, or Assault Vest. So, either way, this probably won't stick to a 3 hit KO, but maybe, right? Maybe. Uh, doing a lot of it, regardless it's good chip it's good it's very good chip damage especially like if you call out the switch like you get 33 percent right on that guy boom it's good chip anyway next we have uh suicune icy win on a lando hitting 41 to 50 an unbelievably small roll for a 2 ko like unbelievably small to the point where i wouldn't even consider this like a chance right 0.4 percent what you're never hitting this 2 ko but regardless, 40 to 50 is really good chip and enough to take out a sub. So, yes, sir. Pretty good. Anyway, that's it for the calcs. Uh, let's go single spotlight real quick before I end the video. So, uh, single spotlight, actually, uh, it does a pretty good job. So, you can... Uh, so, I went for leftovers and I forgot to switch um, to inner focus. But I guess pressure is actually pretty good because fake out's not very viable. But fake out's not, like, super used. Like, you don't usually flinch in uh, singles. So, uh, it's fine. I might be wrong. I, I'm not a singles player. So, like... You know, my singles content's botched, but um, regardless, yeah, Leftovers is pretty good. Leftovers Protect, we're using Substitute and Calm Mind. Calm Mind makes it so you just, like, actually do some pretty good damage with Scald, but really, you wall out special attackers, like, incredibly well. And then I also went all into defense on the uh, EVs so that we're a pretty balanced Suicune, but the Calm Mind sets it up so that you just, like, don't really care too much about special attackers, and you have Scald, so it's really hard for a physical attacker to want to get in on the Suicune. Um, unless it's just like taking it out immediately, but Suicune's fairly bulky, so it can definitely pose a threat. So this like, um, after a little bit of setup, this definitely poses a big threat to special attackers and physical attackers alike, and can be an incredibly annoying wall to to get around from your opponent. And Scald just like does actually pretty competent damage after a Calm Mind or two, and Leftovers Protect is like very very annoying to to do much against this Pokemon. So yeah, Suicune's pretty cool in uh, singles, I'd say. But uh, yeah. That's about it for the video today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference. It really does. I mean, only like 25% of my viewers are subscribed, so hit that, hit that button. It'd be great. Anyway, have a good week. Goodbye. Bye.